it is two days of county now before March Madness invades the city of Buffalo and things are getting a little exciting at the uh, Key Bank Center is one of eight sites now across the country to host first and second round games of the NCAA basketball tournament. It is also the first major event in Buffalo to welcome visitors from all across the country without restrictions since the start of the pandemic two years ago. We get more now from Channel 2's Dave McKinley. The issue is you still have to convince people it's okay to go out and be in a crowd. It's going to take a while. Ticket sales are not yet at the level where they were the last time the tournament came to Buffalo five years ago, but with half the teams coming here this year ranked in the AP Top 25 and three of those schools about a six-hour drive from here, organizers are hopeful that sales will pick up when they take to this now empty floor again on Thursday. From a strictly economic and um, uh, attendance viewpoint, we're really pleased with the teams. We've got two Big East programs coming in. We have uh, Vermont, which is, as you noted, fairly drivable from here. Organizers also note that a lot has changed in the area around the arena for visitors to enjoy since the last time Buffalo hosted the tournament. We have Labatt House, we have the Hofbra House, we have more things to do right here in the vicinity of Canal Side. Neither the Carousel at Canal Side nor Explore and More Children's Museum existed in 2017 and both will be open to visitors this week. So will the Cave of the Winds in Niagara Falls. It's exciting for those people that do make those return visits. One of the most basic changes has to do with the ability for visitors to get around. When these fans came here in 2017, ride sharing was not yet approved for this part of the state. Exactly, it's a completely different community back then. You know, we were still talking about uh, taxi cabs and using NCAA as a example of why we need ride share in our community. And I think this was really what helped push us over the edge. Bottom line, it's just great to be back in the game, especially when you consider that the tournament was canceled in 20. 2020 and that last year it was played in mostly empty arenas due to capacity restrictions due to COVID. So this is sort of like being on the ground floor of a new day. Oh, absolutely. This is just huge for us to be able to uh, come out of the pandemic and host this major event. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.